What is the minimum monthly income you think a foreigner should uh, come with if they're trying to live here in Thailand? I think if they're renting out a place, and it depends on them too. Again, if you're gonna go out every night, if you are that type of person uh, that really wants to uh, party all the time, you're gonna need a lot of money. I mean, because regardless of what anybody says, when you go out at night, uh, you're gonna pay a l little bit more than anybody else. But if you're just, uh, you go out once in a while, if you just uh, are content to stay home. Rent over here is fairly inexpensive. You can get a nice place from anywhere else from 300 US dollars to a really nice place for a thousand. Yeah, know, like right? really nice. Yeah, and so it depends on, on what you're comfortable with. And uh, so I would say if you, you just wanna do sort of the, the minimum, I would say about 2500 would be more than enough yeah yeah i think month. that's a good a good goal yeah. to go for and but uh if you were someone who is a very minimalistic lifestyle you definitely could live on maybe a thousand yeah you could probably do a thousand fifteen hundred yeah. um because you know like i said for us for two of us we're spending about a thousand dollars a month uh for the bills, food, and everything else. But for a single person, if you take out the rent, say it's $500 for the rent, you could easily live off $1,000 a month. Yeah, and go out once in a while, go eat. I mean, food over here is really inexpensive. The one thing is that Western food is much more expensive. I mean, you go to a store and try and get steaks, it's gonna set you back. But if you eat chicken a lot or pork or anything else, fish, then uh, you'll be very comfortable over here. If you are a vegetarian, <laughs> everything <laughs> is way cheap as far as vegetables are concerned. Yeah, seafood. If, you're, if you like seafood, you're in heaven right here. Yeah, exactly.